Hello, everyone. Welcome back to BioInfo Tips. In today's tutorial, we'll be diving into the world of data analysis and exploring how to calculate a receiver operating characteristic ROC curve using GraphPad Prism. Whether you're a researcher or a student, understanding ROC curves can be crucial in assessing the performance of diagnostic tests. So, let's get started. The first step is to have your data ready. Open GraphPad Prism and import your dataset. Ensure that your data is organized with one column for the variable you're testing, such as biomarker concentration, and another column for the outcome, such as positive slash negative. Now, navigate to the Analyzes tab and select your OC curve from the drop-down menu. Choose your X and Y variables appropriately. X typically represents your test variable, and Y represents the outcome. 0 for negative and 1 for positive, for example. GraphPad Prism allows you to customize your ROC curve. You can adjust settings like line style, color, and marker symbols. This step is optional, but can enhance the visual representation of your data. As the analysis completes, you'll see the ROC curve on your screen. Take a moment to interpret the results. Look for the area under the curve, a you see which quantifies the overall accuracy of your test. The closer to one, the better. GraphPad Prism provides essential summary statistics. Explore the sensitivity, specificity, positive predictive value, and negative predictive value. These metrics give you a comprehensive understanding of your test performance. And there you have it. Calculating an ROC curve using GraphPad Prism is a powerful tool for assessing the performance of your diagnostic tests. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to your channel name for more insightful tutorials. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Until next time, happy analyzing.